Welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to preview your Flutter application on an iOS or Mac device or emulator from an Android studio running in Windows OS. So let's begin. So I think many times you guys would have faced a problem where you are running an Android studio on a Windows environment and you want to quickly check on a Mac or iOS device. How to do that? One way is of course to transform or trans. Uh, for it to a Mac device where you can test it in that simulator. However, uh, there is an easy way uh, to do it. I will show you. iOS or I think iOS slash Mac app and uh, I will click create and wait for the environment to load. So we will use the default app, whatever the uh, Android issue the environment we create for the Flutter and we will try to run it uh, on an iOS device. So by default, uh, Android Studio running on Windows will not let you create an emulator or simulator uh, for that matter in a Windows because it's a proprietary of, uh, yeah, from Apple. Uh, but however, there is a workaround, a quick workaround is used something called device preview uh, dependency. So we'll be using this particular dependency uh, to preview the app. So our environment has come up and if you can see over here in the list of the devices, Okay, it is still loading, I guess. So in this list, uh, we are not able to see the any of the uh, iOS related device, right? There are browsers and there are Office Windows desktop and there are emulator of Android studio and Android uh, uh, phones. Okay, so uh, how we can do it is we can, uh, it's a very simple process. So I will do, uh, uh, we have to include a dependency and that dependency we can include in our purpose spec file. Go here and include this. Uh, dependency which is basically device preview 1.2.0 okay I think this has to come in the next line uh, it should be get aligned with flutter because it's a dependency uh, so it should come uh, uh, inside the dependency uh, tag and then just click on pub gate and it may take a while uh, to get this so it will download all the packages uh, I think please enable developer mode blah blah no I think uh, what we can do it is we can uh, use this okay pub updated so this will be fine yeah and yeah so this is with execute uh, zero so even if you try no it should be fine yeah okay so uh, and as i told right uh, we are using this device preview 1.2.0 which is like uh, give you an option to preview in different types of devices so after this you go to your da main uh, dart file and in the main dart file we have to update this app call over here okay uh, no not this one this run app call okay but before I change this code, I have also started in my Chrome uh, this particular application uh, just to show you how it will come initially and how it will it change after I modify this part of the code. So let's wait for a moment uh, for my Chrome to come up. Okay, so Chrome is coming up, uh, which in the local host, of course, just starts the server in the local host. So if I go back here. So yeah, so this is a default app, what you are seeing, so like oh, it's in a web uh, application, right? So it's in a Chrome browser, it's a web application. But what if you want to run it in an iOS, so the changes are simple. You have to go here and over here, just include device preview and probably after this, just include this, you can remove const and in for this error, what you can do it is you can go here, hover over it and import this. So if you, this will get imported. So that's all and uh, most likely you should automatically upload uh, reload this if not then just click on uh, hot refresh and i'm expecting it to come up perfect so if you see now it is coming up with a preview option on the right so you can uh, disable it to see your the default whatever you are seeing initially the web base however say for example if you want to run it on a particular device and right now the device by default is selected is iPhone 13. You can also see it in iPhone 13. It also gives you options to choose different kind of devices in iOS, different iPhones. Even Mac you can choose. Even you want to choose on MacBook Pro, how will it look? Yeah. So this is an easy workaround. It's not a complete solution of running in an iOS uh, device, but it's a quick workaround of if you want to quickly see that how will it come. Uh, how will your app appear in an iOS device or some other device and you are working in uh, Windows OS so then it's a very quick workaround to do that rather than switching uh, completely to a MacBook and working on that so that's all I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice day bye